Sun, sea and snow. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. Tomorrow, we're going on a coach trip to the seaside. We can make sand castles. I fancy a swim. Me too. The weather forecast says it's going to be sunny. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Oh, it is starting to snow. <laughs> it is morning. Yippee! A lot of snow has fallen in the night. Snow, Mummy! Snow, Daddy! Snow, snow, snow! Hey, what? <laughs> we are still going to the seaside, aren't we? Well, let's see how much snow there is. Oh, where's Daddy gone? <gasps> it's a walking snowman! I'm cold! <laughs> it's a walking, talking snowman! <laughs> It's just Daddy. Poor Daddy. Let's warm you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are warming Daddy Pig up by rubbing him with towels. That's better. Now we can go to the seaside. But what about the snow? I don't think the coach will be running today. Oh. Miss Rabbit's coach has arrived at Pepper's house. Goodness me! How did you get through all that snow? With my big snowplow. Snowplows push the snow out of the way. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All of Peppa's friends are going to the seaside, too. Next stop, the seaside. Hooray! Mr Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Hello, Mr Bull. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night. But the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Miss <laughs> Bye. Have a lovely day at the beach. We're The beach is covered in snow. Oh. oh! That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. <laughs> are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. <laughs> Wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! the seaside and I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig's computer. Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. <laughs> Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig. What's this? A cuckoo clock? Yes, it goes cuckoo, cuckoo, but it's broken. Can you mend it, please, 
Grandpa Pig. Hmm. Let's take it to my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed, where Grandpa mends things. I'll take a look inside. Grandpa! Now you've really broken it. Oh. I wonder if I've got a book on clocks. Ah, here we are. How clocks work. Grandpa Pig has mended the cuckoo clock. Hooray! <laughs> Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Mummy, Grandpa's mended the cuckoo clock. That's nice. What's that? It's my old computer. I can't mend that. It's not broken. I've got a new computer. I thought you might like my old one. Um, I I'm not sure. I, I, I really need one. Oh, a computer. What does it do? You can do letters with it. Look, Granny. A, B, C, D. And numbers. One, two, three. I'm afraid we might break it by pressing the wrong button. <laughs> don't worry, you can't break it. Just don't feed it milk or biscuits or jelly. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing it does is... Happy Mrs Chicken. When you press this button, she lays an egg. I am very good at it, but George is the best. <laughs> That's fun! Uh, perhaps we uh, should keep the computer, Granny Pig. Goodbye! Goodbye. Bye-bye! Uh, shall we do some work on the computer, Granny Pig? Yes. Let's do some numbers and letters. Peppa and her family are having lunch. I've given my old computer to Granny and Grandpa. That's nice. I wonder how they're getting on with it. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. Ah, uh, Peppa, I need to ask a question about the computer. It's Grandpa. He's broken the computer. What's the problem with the computer, Grandpa Pig? It's full of eggs. Eggs? Happy Mrs Chicken won't lay any more eggs. I'm broken. Turn the computer off. Now turn it back on again. Did that fix it? I am very broken. That doesn't sound good. Maybe it can't be mended. We'll come round and pick it up. Granny, we're here to take the computer back. Oh! Grandpa Pig has taken it to his shed. There! That should do it. I am mended. Hooray! <laughs> My grandpa is the best at mending things. Was it very hard to mend? Not at all. I found I had this book, How Computers Work. So you don't want us to take the computer away now? No, I need it for important work. For letter and number work? No, to beat Granny Pig's Happy Mrs Chicken score. I laid 4,020 eggs. Wow! wow. So, I've got some work to do, catching up. <laughs> Pottery! Pepper and George are playing at Zoe Zebra's house. <laughs> Little Zuzu and Zaza are making a jungle with play clay. George has made a dinosaur out of play clay. Pepper and Zoe are having a doll's picnic. Hello, Miss. The monkey, would you like a cup of tea? Oh, oh, oh. Monkey says yes. What's the magic word, Mr. Monkey? Oh, oh, oh. That means please. Oh, we haven't got a tea set. We could make a tea set out of play clay. Yes. 
George, can we use a play clay, please? No. Grrr. Zuzu, Zaza, we need to make a tea set for our tea party. No. You can help us make it. <laughs> I'll make the teapot and we'll make the cups. <laughs> there, now Monkey can have tea. Oh, this teapot is too soft. Real tea sets aren't soft. <laughs> My mummy makes real pots. She does pottery. Ooh. Mummy, can you help us make a tea set, please? With teacups and a teapot that we can put real water in. OK, come with me. This is where Mrs Zebra makes her pottery. Let's make this tea set. What's that? Clay. All pottery starts off like that. But it's soft, like play clay. We need it to be soft so we can shape it. But later, it won't be soft. Ooh! Mummy Zebra is making a little cup on the potter's wheel. There. One cup. Wow! <laughs> that looks easy! Would you like to try? Yes, please! <laughs> it's all slimy! <laughs> ah! It's all gone wrong! Making a cup on a potter's wheel is not easy. There is an easier way to make a cup. First, we roll the clay into a long worm like this. It's a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. I'm made of clay. What shall I make today? I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> We wrap it round and round like this. It's a bit bumpy. Now I smooth it out with my hands. And I add a handle. <laughs> it's a cup. Now we have two cups. Yes, but a tea set needs more than two cups. We'll all make cups. Yes. I <laughs> saw. <laughs> George has made a dinosaur. George always makes dinosaurs. Oh, what a scary dinosaur. <laughs> now we need to bake the tea set in a kiln. A kiln is an oven that cooks the clay and makes it hard. The tea set should be ready. Hooray! Now we paint them. <laughs> the children are painting the tea set. Lovely, bright colours. The tea set is finished. Now we can have our tea party. There's a cup for everyone. Oh, we forgot to make a teapot. I know. George's dinosaur can be the teapot. Yes. Let's fill it with water. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best tea set in the world. Everybody knows that all the finest tea sets have a dinosaur in them. Teapot! <laughs> <laughs> the Secret Club. <laughs> Peppa has come to play with Susie Sheep. <laughs> Oh, Peppa, why have you got that mask on your face? So people don't know it's me. I'm in a secret club. Ooh, can I be in your secret club? Shh. It's not easy to get into. You have to say the secret word. What word? Flubber double. Flubber double? Right, you're in. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Dog has come to play. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Shh. What? I'm in a secret club. I'm in it too. Ooh. Pedro Pony, Candy Cat and Rebecca Rabbit have come to play. Hello. Shh. Susie and Peppa are in a secret club. Can we join your secret club? It's very hard to get into. 
You have to say the secret word. Shalama cookie. Shalama cookie. That's not the word I said. It changes all the time to keep it secret. Ah. Oh. Are we in the secret club now? You're in. What do we do? We do secret things in secret. And secretly go on secret missions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Show us how you do a secret mission. Yes, show us. Uh, Peppa can do it. You've got the mask on, Susie. OK, my secret mission is to get biscuits. Watch this. Susie Sheep is trying not to be seen. Mummy, can I have some biscuits for my friends, please? Of course. Here you are. Thank you, Mummy. Susie Sheep has returned with the biscuits. Hooray! Did anyone see you? No. Well, only a grown-up. Look out! Would you like some juice to go with your biscuits? What biscuits? The biscuits I just gave you for your friends. Oh, Susie! What's the matter? We're in a secret club doing secret things and Susie's told everyone. Oh, can I be in your secret club, please? Please, I've always wanted to be in a secret club. It's very hard to get into. You must say the secret word. Which is? Pick a needle noodle. Pick a needle noodle? That's it. You're in. What happens now? Look out. It's Daddy Pig. You talk to my daddy. But don't say anything about our secret club. Hello! Ah, there you are, Mummy Sheep. What's new? Uh, um, uh, 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 secret club. Oh, no! Ooh, I always wanted to be in a secret club. Can I join, please? You can't join, Daddy, because you are grown up. Uh, my mummy is grown up. Well, you have to know the magic word. Which is? Papa Deedle Doodle Dum. Papa Deedle Doodle Dum. You're in. What do I do now? Look out. It's Mummy Pig. Follow Mummy in secret. Daddy Pig. Ah, hello, Mummy Pig. What are you doing in that bush? Um, uh, secret club. Oh, I've always wanted to be in a secret club. We can't have everyone in the secret club. It wouldn't be a secret. Oh. I suppose it doesn't have to be a secret secret club. <laughs> it can be the everybody secret club. And everybody can be in it. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> Edmund Elephant's birthday. Mr Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Oh, look, someone's got a party invitation. It must be for me. It says, to George Pig from Edmund Elephant, please come to my party. Doesn't it say George and Peppa? No, just George. Hmm, I didn't want to go to a silly baby party anyway. Hello? Oh, it's for you, Peppa. It's Emily Elephant. Hello. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to come to Edmund's party as my friend? Oh, yes, please. My mummy wants us to help with the little ones. Help? Yes, I can help. Danny and Susie are helpers too. Oh, goody. <laughs> Everyone is here for Edmund Elephant's party. <laughs> oh, the helpers are here. Hello, Hello Mrs. Mrs. Elephant. Elephant. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Who wants to play musical statues? Yay! This is what you do. Dance when the music is playing. And when it stops, freeze like a statue. Ready, steady, go! So 
Zaza is the winner. Hooray! You've got a medal. It's made of real plastic gold. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, musical statues is over. Lovely. Now it's time for Pass the Parcel. Yay! When the music plays, pass the parcel round. When the music stops, take some paper off. Ready, steady, go! George, pass the parcel! Edmund has got a medal. <laughs> Richard, just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> Pass the parcel. Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant teddy. Edmund has one. <laughs> Mummy, pass the parcel is finished. Um, lovely. Now it's time for food. Hooray! <laughs> oh, the helpers have taken all the seats. This is Edmund's party, remember? The helpers can eat after the little ones. Oh, yes. We're the helpers. <laughs> Goose, please. Cheese, please. Juice, please. Jelly, please. Jelly, jelly. More, please. Happy birthday, Edmund. Happy birthday, Edmund. <laughs> It is the end of the party. Thank you to the helpers. You all worked really hard. Yes. It's not easy looking after little children. <sighs> I need to lie down. I need a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Pigs, chickens. Pepper and George are having a sleepover at Granny and Grandpa's house. Granny Pig, Gangy Ig. Hello, my little ones. Bye bye. See you later. Bye bye, Mummy. Come and see where you're going to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this was Mummy Pig's room when she was a little piggy. In olden times. And this is the bed Mummy slept on. Ooh, bouncy bed. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like your Mummy when she was little. Did Mummy bounce on the bed? Of course. But Mummy tells us not to bounce on the bed. <laughs> when Mummy was a little piggy, she was cheeky, just like you. Was she? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, let's go and see Grandpa Pig in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Papa Pig! Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Come and see my carrots. Grandpa Pig is very proud of his vegetables. Ooh. And here are my peas. Oh. But best of all are my lettuces. Oh, no! My lettuces! I think the birds have eaten them, Grandpa. Yes, birds. Why didn't Mr Scarecrow scare them away? Because the birds that ate my lettuces are very stupid. What's the matter, Grandpa Pig? Your friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick and Harry. <laughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. Wow. Say hello to Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Hello. <laughs> and here is Neville. <coughs> is Neville a boy chicken? Yes, Peppa. He's a cockerel. 
He's the worst, scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. <coughs> and he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <coughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <coughs> Come on, this way home. <coughs> Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <coughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <coughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh! It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> <laughs> Have the chickens laid their eggs yet, Granny? Maybe in the morning, Pepper. How will we know when it's morning? Neville will tell us. Now, go to sleep. Night, night. It is morning. It's Neville! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for waking us up, Neville. <laughs> Good morning, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Do you have any eggs for us? One, two, three, four. Four eggs, Granny. Now we'll have eggs for breakfast. Thank you, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Boiled eggs for everyone. Hooray! Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Granny, your chickens make yummy eggs. Eggs. Yes! It's all that lovely corn they eat. And my lettuces. Today. <laughs> 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 it is the end of another day at Peppa's Playgroup. Children, tomorrow is talent day. What is a talent? A talent is something you like doing and you're good at. <laughs> I like to watch television and I'm good at it. Think of something we might like to see you do. My talent is playing the guitar. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Meow. The parents have arrived to pick up the children. Don't forget to think of something to do for talent day tomorrow. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. I can't go to bed yet. I haven't got a talent to show tomorrow. But you have lots of talents, Pepper. Yes, I can skip. I can sing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I can dance. It's hard to choose one talent. I am good at lots of things. Don't worry, you can decide tomorrow. OK. It is talent day. My talents are skipping, singing and dancing. I practised them all last night. I was practising watching television last night. <laughs> That's not a talent. Madame Gazelle said so. What can I do then? Who would like to show us their talent first? <laughs> Danny Dog? I can bang a drum. I can bang it louder. No, that was lovely, Danny. Hey. Pedro Pony, what is your talent? Magic tricks. Ahem. <clears throat> Here is a glass of water. It is wet and see-through. Ah! Now I will make the water disappear. Ooh! Please close your eyes. Open your eyes. The water has gone. Thank you. <coughs> Emily Elephant. I'm going to play the recorder. <gasps> Squeak! 
And what is your talent, Rebecca? I can make a special noise. It only works if I go up on my tiptoes. That was very good. Yes, but what can I do? Candy, what is your talent? Skipping. I was going to do skipping, but I can still do dancing and singing. My talent is singing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I can still do dancing. Susie Sheep, what is your talent? Dancing. No, you can't dance. Oh, dear. Dancing was Peppa's last talent. It is so nice that everyone has chosen a different talent to perform. Now, who do we have left? Peppa. I was going to skip or sing or dance. But they've all been done. A talent can be anything, Peppa. But not watching television. <laughs> Think of something you really like to do. I know. I've got a talent that I'm really good at. I wonder what Peppa's talent can be. My special talent that I'm the best at in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Peppa and George's cousins are coming to visit today. Mummy, how long before Cousin Chloe is here? Not long now, Peppa. Baby Alexander is coming too, remember? Oh, babies cry all the time. They're so noisy. I'm sure Baby Alexander won't be that noisy. <coughs> What's that sound? Is it a car alarm? Is it a fire engine? No, it's Baby Alexander. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Hello, Cousin Chloe. Hello, everyone. Hello, Uncle Pig. Hello. Hello, Auntie Pig. You remember Baby Alexander, don't you, Peppa? Yeah. <laughs> Are you staying for a few days? No, this is what Alexander needs for just one day. Can't go anywhere without all these baby things. Oh. Hello, baby Alexander. He can't talk, Peppa. If he can't talk, then how do you know what he wants? We guess. <coughs> I'm guessing he's hungry. Peppa, would you like to help feed Alexander? Yes, please. It is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Pepper is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. Mm. Oh, here it is. Mm. Oh, he keeps turning his head. Mm. Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh. <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Peppa. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Peppa. Do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Peppa's first word was daddy. No, mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. Baby Alexander is having a bath. <laughs> 
This is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Pepper. <laughs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <laughs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> That's a clever little buggy. Yes. Five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Pepper. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sky. Can you say sky? Go, go. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? <laughs> rain is good for ducks and plants and making muddy puddles. Pepper has found a big <laughs> muddy puddle. Look, Alexander. I'm jumping up and down in a puddle. <laughs> I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles. Ooh. Alexander has said his first word. Puddles. Hooray! Puddles. And I taught him to say it. Puddles. <laughs> Champion Daddy Pig. Pepper and her family are watching sport on television. It's a long jump. It's a new world record! <laughs> Mummy, what's a world record? It means you're best in the world at something. Then you are a champion and your name goes in a book. There are champions for running, jumping, swimming... I wish you were in the book, Daddy. I am in the book. No. Yes. Daddy Pig is champion puddle jumper. Wow. No one has beaten me yet. I don't think they ever will. The next event is the puddle jump. That was a very big splash. In fact, I think, yes, it's a new world record. Oh. Daddy, you're not the champion anymore. Everyone will be sad. Ho, oh, oh. ho. I'm sure they've got more important things to worry about, Peppa. Daddy Pig, you lost the world record. Everyone wants you to be champion again. It's important. Really? Yes. yes! OK, I'll do it. Tomorrow! Hooray! But I'll have to train myself to jump in muddy puddles again. Everyone knows how to jump in muddy puddles, Daddy. Ah, but not everyone is a champion, Pepper. Daddy Pig is the master! Daddy, are you going to practice jumping up and down? No, Pepper. I must be at one with the puddle. What? To jump in a puddle, I must think like a puddle. Do you need to do running? No. Do you need to do press-ups? No. I need to sleep and dream about puddles. <laughs> it is the day of the big puddle jump. Daddy Pig is wearing his puddle jumping costume. I can't find my golden boots. I gave those old boots to Grandpa for his gardening. My lucky golden boots to be used as gardening boots? You've got other ones. It's not the same. Hello? Grandpa? Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto. I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, 
Here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's Puddle Jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady, go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. <laughs> the puddle has gone. <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us. Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record. Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig. And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig. One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs> Bush. Pepper and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Today I'm going to make apple and blackberry crumble. Yummy! I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Hi, Hi, Granny, Granny Pig. Pig! We've got baskets for the apples. And buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, two, three! <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Ah. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no, I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Peppa. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush and she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um, can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. Yay! Oh, my prince. My princess. Mm -hmm. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. 
Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly. And she was going, Ah! Help me, help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Peppa. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble, then? Well, mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> <laughs> Muddy puddle in the world. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. There's so much rain. That means there will be puddles to jump in tomorrow. Oh, goody. You can never have too much rain. <laughs> it is morning. Hooray! <laughs> Muddy puddle! Mrs. Duck, what are you doing here? <coughs> wow! The rain has made a flood. Our house is a desert island. Muddy puddles, here I come. Whee! <coughs> oh! <coughs> Who put all this water here? How will we get our food? Daddy will have to swim to the shop. Uh... Grandpa Pig has arrived on his boat. Ahoy there! Wonderful boating weather. Um, yes. We're sailing to the shops. Do you need anything? Yes, please. Can you get us some tomatoes and spaghetti? Tomatoes and spaghetti? Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. Polly can be our shopping list. Who's a clever parrot? Er? Uh? Who's a clever parrot? Can we come too, please? <laughs> Hop aboard! <laughs> Look, there's Susie Sheep's house. <laughs> We're going to the shops. Do you need anything? Mummy, do we need anything from the shops? Yes, we need food for dinner. Chocolate, please. Uh -huh. Chocolate. Hello, Danny. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. I'm helping my granddad. We're rescuing people. Great weather for it. Do you need anything from the shops? Uh, maybe a newspaper. And a comic. Newspaper? Coming. Grandpa, what's that stick thing in the water? Ah! Submarine! Action stations! Ahoy there, me hearties! It's Grampy Rabbit in his submarine. Lovely day to go sailing. With just the sea and the sky, the stories I could tell. Do you need any shopping? Oh, yes. Uh, cheese, please. Cheese? Grandpa Pig's boat has arrived at the supermarket. Hello. It's very quiet today. You're my first customers. Maybe it's because of the flood. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? A little bit of rain and everyone stays at home. What can I get you? Polly has a list. Who's a clever parrot? Who's a clever parrot? Oh, dear. Polly has forgotten the list. Luckily, I remember what everyone wants. Cheese! Thank you, Pepper. You're a good one. Newspaper and comic. Thanks, Thanks Pepper! Pepper! It was lucky Peppa was going to the shops, or we'd have nothing for dinner. Here's your chocolates. Now we can have our dinner, Mummy. Peppa and George have arrived back home. It is their bedtime. 
It is morning. Oh. The water has gone, but left a big muddy puddle. Muddy puddle! <laughs> <laughs> this is the biggest muddy puddle in the world ever! <laughs> Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George on a boat trip. Uh, Polly Parrot is going too. Uh, Grandpa Pig, have you got your mobile phone? Yes, Granny Pig. Don't drop it in the water. No, Granny Pig. Is it switched on? Yes, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye bye. Here is Grandad Dog. Ahoy there. Ahoy there. Lovely day to go sailing. I would go too, but my boat needs a clean. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know why you bother cleaning that rusty boat. I'm surprised it's still afloat. This rusty boat will still be afloat long after your old tin boat has sunk to the bottom of the river. <laughs> Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Full steam ahead. Goodbye. I am the captain of this boat, and when the captain tells you to do something, you must do it. Aye, aye, captain! Aye, aye, captain! <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. George, raise the flag. George, raise the flag. <laughs> Pepper, ring the bell. Pepper, ring the bell. <laughs> Be the captain, please. Okay, but as captain, you must wear this hat. <laughs> now Pepper is the captain, and everyone must do what she says. Ring the bell. Turn that wheel. Aye, aye, Captain Pepper. Jump up and down. <laughs> captain Pepper is a bit bossy. Perhaps I should be the captain again. We don't want to crash into anything. Steering the boat can be tricky. Luckily, I'm good at steering. <laughs> oh dear, Grandpa Pig's boat has crashed into a little island. Grandpa, we're stuck. I'll ring Granny Pig. She can get help. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Grandpa Pig has dropped his phone in the water. Granny Pig speaking. Hello? 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 Somehow, we need to get a message to Granny. Ah, uh, message to Granny? <laughs> Polly can fly to Granny. Good idea, Peppa. And I can teach Polly what to say. Grandpa Pig says... Grandpa Pig says... Help! 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 There you see. Easy peasy. Grandpa Pig says easy peasy. You silly old bird. You silly old bird. Hello, Polly. What are you doing here? Uh, Grandpa Pig says. What does Grandpa Pig say? You silly old bird. Oh! Help! Help! Goodness me! Grandpa must need help. <laughs> Grandad Dog! Hello, Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig needs help. Please, could you rescue him? Madam, I would be delighted. Hooray! Ahoy there! Do you need rescuing, Captain? Um, maybe. Would you like my rusty old boat? To rescue you? Yes, please, Grandad Dog. Catch this, Captain. Aye, aye, Skipper. Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Granny, did Polly tell you we needed help? Yes, Polly is a very clever parrot. Say, I'm a clever parrot. Woof, woof. I'm a clever parrot. Woof, woof. <laughs> the train 
ride. Today, Peppa and her friends are going on a train ride. <laughs> Mr Rabbit is the station master. How many tickets? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten child tickets and one teacher ticket, please. Now, children, do not lose these tickets. Can I see your tickets, please? Uh, I've lost my ticket. Oh, dear, Pedro, you must be more careful. There's your ticket. <laughs> oh, oh, try not to lose it again. Here comes the train. Choo-choo! Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! Here are your activity sheets. Ooh. The children have to spot everything that is on the activity sheet. A boat, a signal box, <laughs> and a tunnel. I can see trees. Are trees on the list? Uh, no. I can see clouds. Are clouds on the list? No. I can see Grandad Dog. Ahoy there! Hello, Grandad Dog. Is Grandad Dog on the list? Silly Peppa. My Grandad won't be on the list. But he is sailing a boat. And a boat is on the list. Hooray! The children tick the boat on their activity sheets. <laughs> Tickets, please. Mr Rabbit has come to check everyone's ticket. Uh, I think I've lost my ticket. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Meow. There's your ticket, Pedro. You were sitting on it. <laughs> now you try not to lose it again, Pedro. The train is going slowly uphill. The train is going quickly downhill. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I feel a bit sick. Can I go to the front, please? OK, Pedro. You can go to the front of the train. <laughs> Do -da -dum -dum, da -de -da. Hey. Hello, Pedro. Not feeling very well. Would you like to drive the train for a bit? Yes, please. Flickety-clack, <laughs> flickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Half and puff, half and puff, the train runs on the track. <laughs> <laughs> a signal box. That's on our list. Hooray! The children tick the signal box on their activity sheets. The signal has stopped the train so that someone important can cross. It's Mrs Duck and her friends. <laughs> oh, we still haven't seen a tunnel. <gasps> hey, it's gone dark. We're in a tunnel. <laughs> the tunnel is the last thing on the activity sheet. Hooray! <laughs> last stop! Wall change! Everybody off now. But, Madam Gazelle, how are we going to get home? Oh, Peppa, we are back where we started. The train has gone in a big circle. <laughs> Tickets, please. <laughs> Um, Pedro's lost his ticket again. Um... Pedro, can I have my hat back, please? There's Pedro's ticket. Oh, that's where I put it. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Hamster's tortoise. It is a school day. Children? Dr. Hamster has come to talk to us today. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dr. Hamster. Dr. Hamster is a vet. Who knows what a vet does? <laughs> Vets help sick pets get better. That's right. And I brought some of my pets to show you. Ooh. This 
is Binky, the butcher. Hello, Binky. Well, can I stroke Binky? Yes, very gently. He feels fluffy. Those are his feathers. They help him to fly. <laughs> Flying is how Binky gets his exercise. Can you tell me what else Binky needs to stay fit and healthy? He needs to eat. Yes. He needs to drink. That's right. He needs to breathe a bit. Very good. He needs to sleep. Excellent. <sighs> Sorry, Madam Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. Yes, Madam Gazelle. I have got a pet here who loves sleeping. It's a tortoise. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. Tiddles has slept all through the winter. Ooh. Why has he got that shell thing on his back? That shell is his house. It's where he hides if he gets scared. Would you like to stroke him? Yes, please. <coughs> Don't be scared, Tiddles. How old is he? Tiddles is 33. That's as old as my mum. But tortoises can live for a hundred years. <coughs> That's as old as my grandpa. Why is he so slow? He has to carry his house on his back. Uh, Dr Hamster, I think Tiddles is escaping. He can't go far. Because he is so slow. I've got someone else to show you here. Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur. <coughs> oh, it is. Is a dinosaur. Ooh. She's not a dinosaur. This is Lulu, the lizard. Hello, Lulu. She's scaly, like a dragon. Can she breathe fire? No, but she has a very long tongue. Wow. Does she sleep through the winter, like Tiddles? No. Oh, where is Tiddles? Tiddles? Oh, dear. Tiddles the tortoise has run away. Don't worry, Dr Hamster. We'll find Tiddles. Is he in the music room? Tiddles is not in the music room. Is he in the playhouse? Tiddles is not in the playhouse. Is he hiding by the coats? Tiddles is not hiding by the coats. I can smell Tiddles this way. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. There's Tiddles! Tiddles is up a tree. Oh, I better call for help. This is Miss Rabbit's fire station. Ah! Fire! Fire! Fire station! Where's the fire? My Tiddles is up a tree. What? Again? Emergency! Emergency! Tortoise up a tree! I don't know why you like climbing trees so much. You're a tortoise. Stand back. Tiddles. Come on, Tiddles. Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. And my job is looking after pets. Where are Binky and Lulu? No, I don't know. Oh, here they are, safe and sound. <laughs> 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 <laughs>